What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Let's Play. And now with all that fishy business over with, we gotta go find Kai. And uh, deal with his mermaid business. Hello, Jade. I've asked around about Kai, but nobody around here has seen him. Seems he's not much of a party person. Michelle's still waiting for us back on that island. We should try to track him down as soon as we can. Sounds good. And where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. I mean, okay. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. It's gotta suck being stuck in the body of a kid when you're actually an adult. Like, oof. Here we are having the biggest luau in a generation and Kai still won't join in, made some excuse about having to go down to the dock to fix his friend's boat. Excuse, you say? I don't buy it. He's trying to make a getaway. Oh, kitty cat. I know. Oh, hey, you're the guys who beat the tentacular, right? We owe you one for that, for sure. You should get back to the luau. I'll bet the rest of the men will be missing their guest of honor already, unless you got some business with me. You're looking for a gall. Uh, you're looking for a guy called Kai, huh? Sure, that's me, Kainui. Uh, to my ma, but everyone else just calls me Kai. What do you want? Remind Kai that Michelle is waiting for him. Eh, why not? Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. The Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale, it's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. Huh? It all happened 50 years ago, and it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after grandpa got chased out of the village, the kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani. But when they got there, her and the baby... They were nowhere to be found. The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. 
So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years, but there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Hmm. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooley, cooley, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. Unless he did. Man getting down and dirty with the fish babes. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Alright, well, let's move. Fisherman ran up to the church just now. He looked very upset. I do hope it's not another injury. Oh, was that Kai? How strange. I thought he'd be pleased to hear that Michelle was still thinking about him, but he looked rather gloomy. Yeah, apparently we got the wrong guy. Oh my... Hey, my people aren't dead anymore. Alright, well, before I get myself into those shenanigans, as per usual of my habits... None. You're drunk. Go home. Ooh, that ain't the way. My son just passed through here. He's always been a quiet boy, but he looked like he was biting his lip more than ever. The door leads to Sakiki Beach. It's home of the village graveyard where the souls of the departed are returned to the ocean. Kainui always hated that place. Why would he go there now? You tell me. You tell me. There we go. Yay, a mini metal. Woohoo. This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. King receives the lover's veil. 
Well, that's sad. Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through, and I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The Kahuna's finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. I think I can do that. Is there loot? Is there loot I'm being denied? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, uh, let's get on out of here then. The gravestone is old and worn, and the inspection is too faded to read. Well, that's a shame. If I wanted, I could upgrade my sword. Which probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, you know, let's see what we can do for people's defense, because uh, that last battle was kind of rough. A discount, you say? I don't know if I'm actually getting a discount here or not. I don't remember the prices. Uh, but let's look around. I could get two bronze helmets for them. Oh, or one bronze helmet and a feet. Oh god, that thing is twice the price for not much more. I wouldn't get many of those. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to find someone to uh, farm out gold again. Hey, hold on. Um... Oh, wait. I did pick up a new recipe a while back. Yeah, that's right, I got this. It needs a red eye, so those eyes are useful. And I can give it to Silvando. That's quite the upgrade. Yeah, no, buy buying that for a thousand? Easy. Easy. Way cheaper than buying the sword itself. Oh boy. Do I risk it? I don't I don't I don't think I do. Perfect. Perfect. I don't need to touch nothing else on it.
Wait, I have great shields? Oh! Hmm. So that's HP, one defense, and some charm. Defense and charm. MP, defense and charm. Oh! I know who to give that to. And that's another M. Okay, that's the one I give to Serena, and I can give this one to, uh... Honestly, I don't know who I'd give this to. Savanda, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, this will be good, because it's got that nice magical mending. I could, I could give this to the old man. Hmm. I am missing a lot of the materials, though. Not many people benefit from them. Isn't Magical Beast Hide, like, super expensive? Yeah, yeah. 500 just for one piece. I need to find out where to farm those. Apparently have a piece of it, so maybe I can maybe maybe I can look at it in my inventory. But I'd like to be able to farm that stuff. Let's see. Where oh where oh where are you? There you are. Okay, the Great Saber Cat and the Spitzfire. I could probably farm the Spitzfire if I were to go back to him, being where I am now. That shouldn't be too hard. So, might do that. Everyone will just have to hold on for now, but uh, let's... Come here, Silvando. Hey, this is a bit of charm. But he's got a cool sword now. It actually is a pretty cool looking sword. What about your shield? I mean, it'll look better than uh, you carrying around a plate. So, there you go, Silvando. No discounts for me. Well, that makes me sad. So I really, really want this sword. Oh, God. Oh my God, plus three stats are bonkers. I would never have to worry again. That is already a 24 point upgrade to my attack. That is the biggest attack boost anyone here is gonna get. Goodbye all my money. I love you. Look at this thing. Is that a sheath it's in? Well, it ain't the best looking thing. But it is powerful. God. It looks so weird, but ha having that giant sheath on my back is hilarious. Worth it. Can I, can I reforge it? We'll check just real quick.
Oh, I need nine. I need three more. I don't want. I don't want to just like make things. Um, we're gonna go save, and then we can go head out to the mermaid and uh, hope she doesn't kill us for bad news. That would be sad. Now, I hope I don't need an inn anytime soon because, yeah, I'm broke. I can't pay for an inn. I do need to start. I do. I do need to farm a couple of levels, though. Me out of the menu. Thank you. So, probably probably next chance I get, I'll uh, farm up some levels. Probably get around like 25, maybe. As long as the XP is good, I think 25 would be a good good point to get to. Alright, Devi. Let's get out. How do I return to the strand? I guess it's that little like island like right up there or something. I don't know, actually. Good numbers. Fabulous. Yo, Savando. Hey, oh my God, I have eighteen points. People got points for days. Let's see. Ooh, 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 so many options. I could go after this and then get this. Yeah, counterattacking, that would be good. Like, I, I want to get this freeze ability. But, like,. Crit and counter. It all sounds so good. But this is a unique ability from one of my mystery squares. Maybe? I don't know, guys. I don't know. You know what? We'll go for it. Ooh, ice and slice. So, I mean, I, mean, I, I do get a new pet power out of it, so I guess it's worth it. Huh, I can't even I can't even do anything with that. What about Luminary? I can't even get that. Alrighty. Well, Veronica, what do you got? Let's see what your secret skill is. Ring of Ruin. Summons a sigil that increases all party members' chance of inflicting critical spell strikes. Not terrible. I'll probably start focusing on uh, the bottom tree now. Because I, I, I can get any of these abilities as it is. And I don't really need them. But these are just good. 
Well, Silvando. Uh, he can't get Metal Slash just yet. He could get Dragon Slash, but I hear Metal Slash is really good. Then we'll go after that, because why not? Anything in here I might want? Some Charm? I 20 Defense would be pretty good, but he can't get that yet either. Uh, what about you, Jade? Hmm. Oh. Four? Or 13? Ah, this would unlock that skill. I want it. I mean, I could go after this, but it would take just as long, so I might as well wait to get that skill that's in between her Fisticuff and Spear Tree. See if it's any good, so I'll just wait on those. What do you got for me, old man? Oh, right. Alright, so you're one point off. Either way we go. Um, guaranteed to revive a far fallen party member. We're going to go down towards that then, honestly, because that's just really good. Now that we know that we can, now we actually can swap out dead party members. Being able to have someone that can revive them, or just anyone in general, would be amazing. So, let's keep going. Ready for anything! Let's test out our new ability. Huh? <laughs> eh, it's not as cool as I thought it would look, but it's not bad. I wish I knew just where we were headed. It says return to the strand, but I don't know which one that is. Oh, hi, Dithons. It's quite the name. Why does that why, why why does my character make that noise every time he's healed? It's weird. Don't worry, darlings. Sylph's here. Leave it to me. Thank you. Stop poisoning everyone. Fabulous. Bad snake. Definitely not that island. Oh lord. Oh, can I just... I mean, uh, I don't know. Did I get a... I don't think I ever got a uh, AoE with her yet. Rude. Uh, my son is going crazy. Ha! This sucks. I need to get this episode done with. Ha! Go take some medicine for that. Before that gets too bad. Harvest moon!
Definitely this uh, weather we're going through down here is not the best. Hey, we froze one. Surrender your soul. I'm coming, darling. I don't need another Savando. Use it to yourself. Oh my lord, two hundred crit, darlings. Honestly, these guys aren't bad for gold. Yes. Okay, it wasn't that hard to find the strand as I thought it might be. And we got an auto save, so I'm okay with that. So, now that we're here on the strand, got our little auto save. Go, go ahead and wrap up here and uh, break the bad news to Michelle in the next one. So, stay tuned until then. And. As always, stay wholesome, my friends.